Hey, hola, como esta, saluditos. Let me show y'all how to beat go. Come on, get down with no ritmo. If you don't know, let me teach you. Go. Bienvenido. Vine a la otra hasta silla. Ay, bendito. Nothing but love, bienvenido. I sat here today, had a year and a half to write this speech. I wrote it today by the pool about two hours ago. Family, friends, and loved ones, we are gathered to celebrate one of life's greatest moments. We are here to give recognition to the worth and beauty of love and to add our best wishes and wonderful blessings to the world that will unite Aaron and Cameron in matrimony. You know, there's some things me and you experience in life together that you just can't fit in words. And he was like, yeah, please don't put any of them in words. I cannot wait to watch y'all grow because I know y'all have nothing but a success in the future and love for each other. When you guys decide to have kids, I'm going to be the uncle that teaches them the curse words and give them nothing but sugar to watch them run hell around you nonstop because I strive for nothing but that. Now today is a day I know none of us will forget. I want to be able to just yell chick anymore because we have another one now. You became a chick as well. I want you to know that you have no worries further in life because you're a sister today to me. And if you need me at any times, I will always be there. I love you as my brother and my sister. Love you guys. Karen. Aaron Cameron, today, as you join yourself in marriage, there is a vast and unknown future stretched out before you. The possibilities and potential of your mother life are great. And now the task of choosing values and making your dreams a reality falls upon your shoulders. However, the foundation of those values and dreams is love. Love is the bond capable of holding together the most fragile or tender relationship. Its qualities are the yearly box needed to be kept secure in the intimacy of your soul. Today, your journey begins anew. The marriage between Aaron and Camera does not mark the beginning of a new relationship. Rather, it is an acknowledgement and celebration of a relationship that has been flourishing since they met. On behalf of me and Aaron, we just wanted to thank you guys all for coming out tonight. We couldn't have this wedding without you guys. And I'd like to start off with saying, uh, happy birthday, Josh. Thank you for sharing this day with us. <laughs> I knew you didn't want to make it about you, but I wanted to include you. Meeting Cam was probably one of the best things that happened to me. My heart is full. I am an only child and I have a sister that I am very grateful for. And then I got Chick that came along and he never complained about me third willing one time. At Dingus, at the games, at formal, like he was, he was there for the ride. And thank you for that. And I'm so happy to call y'all my best friends and to y'all see y'all so in love. Marriage has been described as living in love with your best friend. In marriage, two people turn to each other in search of a greater fulfillment that neither can achieve alone. Only in the giving of oneself and sharing with another can the mysterious process of growth take place. Only in the loyalty and devotion bestowed upon another can that which is eternal in life emerge and be known. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand up for the bride. Aaron, one set of vows can't cover the lifetime we have ahead. As we grow and begin each new chapter, so are our promises to each other. I can't promise you everything. I can't promise you that dark clouds will never hover over our lives or the sun will always shine. I can't promise a lifetime of riches or wealth, mainly because I have a shopping addiction. <laughs> However, the chapter that begins today with me as your wife, I can make these promises to you. I can promise you boundless, unwavering love as long as the heart inside my chest beats. I can promise that it will always be for you and no one else. I can promise to wake up and love you more than the day before. I can promise unending devotion to you and to always remain by your side. And I promise to know that you will have me even when I ask you a million times. <laughs> Thank you for loving me when I didn't think I was worthy of love. Thank you for constantly pushing me to be the best version of myself. When you look at me, I know that I'm home. I can breathe easy. I can see the future and the life we will make. I'm looking forward to a lifetime of love, happiness, and failed DIY home renovations. I loved you yesterday, I love you today, and I will undoubtedly love you forever. Cameron, as I sat down to write this, I struggled to find the right words to explain what you mean to me. So the only way I can explain is how we got here is to start at our first date. It wasn't fancy, but it was everything to me. I drove down and met you at St. Simon's for pizza and a movie, not knowing what would come out of it other than a date. But during that date, I found my partner in life. The whole drive down there, I was worried about what you would think of me because I was using a Bluetooth speaker for my in place of my broken car radio. Yet that didn't matter to you. After the movie, we drove around for what felt like forever, just laughing and sharing stories about life. That is when I knew I loved you. You were not only beautiful on the outside, yet you were beautiful on the inside. You did not care about what I had or what I could provide for you, yet you cared only about the meaningful times I could share with you. So that, Cameron, is what I promised you. I cannot promise you the fancy things, but I can promise I will share all the meaningful moments in my life with you. From the forever car ride to the forever life, I will love you, and I will spend all the meaningful moments in my life with you. Aaron, Cameron, may your love always be as constant as the never-ending waves flowing endlessly from the depths of the sea. Just as there will never be a morning without the ocean's flow, may there never be a day without your love for each other. Through this covenant from this moment forward, you will both be together on your journey through life and you will never be alone. For as much as you consented together in marriage and have pledged your love and your commitment to each other, in front of your, in the presence of your family, friends, and of this company, I do now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Chico. Now go in peace and forever celebrate love. Congratulations. When we walked out and saw Aaron's face, he is so in love with you and you guys are going to have such a beautiful life together. This was an amazing day and we're just all so blessed to be here with you and to watch your love and marriage grow from here on out. So thank you guys for a baby. Uh